me it's Saturday, happy May 9th. It is 8.44 and I am headed to swing past Brittany's. So I can to Brittany's it's because she picked up some cards for my sister and my sister-in-law that I'm going to grab from her for me and then she also picked up pancake mix because I couldn't find it um, two weeks ago and I forgot to pick it up so I'm going to pick that up because we're going to use that tomorrow for some of the chicken and waffles that Ronnie was going to be making for brunch at his parents house so I'm headed to go get that and then I also have our contribution for dinner tomorrow to drop off at my mom's house because they probably will start cooking before Ronnie and I arrive um, since we're going to his family's house first. So I have, I also ordered some Lysol wipes, a three pack, I was able to order them from Walmart um, like was it last week, the week before last and they finally came. So I promised my parents I would give them one of the tubs. It's like three um, tubs of 80. So I have that. Uh, we provided um, shrimp for tomorrow's dinner and also asparagus. So I have that. And then um, my sister's boyfriend was supposed to be providing chicken wings, like whole chicken wings. And he got party wingettes instead and my mom didn't really want those. So because we were on our way to the store, when he came back with those, she said for us to look for some whole chicken wings and then if they had them, then she would give us, she would like trade with us basically. Um, and Ronnie and I actually like the wingettes because I fry them and we air fry them and stuff like that during the week for meals. So um, I did find two packs of the chicken, the whole chicken wings um, that I'm going to drop off and then hopefully she'll give me two bags. I don't need all three bags, but two bags of the um, chicken wingettes and then we got like cocktail sauce we got uh, bamboo skewers for the shrimp and then we got like a marinade a garlic and herb marinade for the shrimp as well so that's all in these bags um so i'm going to drop that off after i swing past and get this stuff from Brittany. Uh, also y'all if y'all don't get cards from dollar tree they actually have hallmark cards mahogany all that stuff um, Brittany actually put me on this year because the first two cards I showed you in a previous vlog that Ronnie and I got for our moms, we got those from Target and we paid $5 each for those cards, right? And they did not seem like they were $5. I mean, they were the, the funny cards, but they weren't like really beautiful or anything like that. And we paid $5 each for them. But Dollar Tree has two for a dollar and also the nicer cards are only $1. So I got something like eight cards today of the nicer quality for one dollar each so that was eight bucks my dad called me with my mom in the car with him and was like hey can you do me a favor can you get some mother's day cards so i'm like um for who because my mom was sitting right beside him he's like uh for your mom for your grandma and get one for yourself too for me and i'm like dad like what <laughs> you have no chill like you don't have no shame in your game he's like nope i'm tired i'm going home so bring me the cards over <laughs> So I have those in my um, bag as well. And while I was in there, I picked up one from me from my grandmother as well because I hadn't gotten one for her. Um, and so like I said, I'm gonna get the one for my sister and my sister-in-law from them now. And then um, that'll be it. Um, once I drop this stuff off, I'll go back home. I was supposed to um, do laundry today, but I just, I'm getting to that point where I'm getting tired and the more I walk the more the more sore I get so like we ran our errands today and I walked at Whole Foods and I walked at Giant and where else did we go that's pretty much it but it was a lot of walking and so I came home um, I made a sandwich and some chips for like an early dinner I guess because it was like 6 o'clock 6 30 and I like laid into bed watching HGTV um, the new um, Tarek Elamusa show Flipping 101. I watched like the first five episodes of that like back to back Because I was in so much pain like it hurt so bad So I had to that's why it's nine o'clock now and I'm finally going to go get the stuff from Brittany and drop off the stuff to my parents because I literally did not want to move earlier um, Ronnie's walking the dogs I passed him in the neighborhood But yeah, so that's all I accomplished today 
Um, I'm not gonna push myself to try to do any laundry or anything like that. Um, and then tomorrow morning, we're supposed to be leaving out early. So after I shower and, excuse me, after I shower and, you know, get dressed, that's gonna take energy out of me. And then we'll go to his, his parents' house for brunch and then my parents house for dinner like I'm probably not gonna get anything done on Sunday either and I mean it's fine I'm okay with that and then it'll be Monday again but I am grateful to be working from home because um, I am like at least building up my leave and I'm not having to use it but um, I don't accrue that much leave so it's still taking a long time but I guarantee would have used all of the leave that I have accrued since I've been working from home if I was wanted to the office because I mean in so much pain like I'll just take a half a day in the morning you know and then you know go to work half a day or whatever because I'm in pain so it's good that I'm already home because I don't have to like worry about getting dressed using all that extra energy and then driving an hour to into the city for work and all that other stuff so I'm really really um happy um about being able to work from home and build up my leave. Like I said, it's not going to be a lot of leave, um, but it is something. Um, but yeah, this weekend is flying, flying by. I am excited about my first Mother's Day. I've got mixed reviews or mixed opinions on whether or not I should celebrate or not because of the old wives' tale or the superstition that if you celebrate before your baby is physically here, then it can increase the chances of your baby not making it here and all that other stuff. But I'm choosing to believe in the God I serve and you know I've prayed um over this and I am going to celebrate I mean we're not doing anything big but we are acknowledging that it is um our first Mother's and Father's Day so um for all of you guys who are going to question it down in the comments below that is what we decided um I don't know what outside of going to his parents house for brunch and going to my mom's house for dinner i have no idea what else is in store for tomorrow um but i know he got me something just because he told me that he got me something so i don't know um but whatever it is i'll let you guys know um and so yeah that's pretty much the gist of that um i didn't vlog today just because um, oh, Stace in Harper. So Stace um, was do trying to do a drive-by because she said she's been um, staying at her sister's house in Virginia since the quarantine happened and she just comes back to Maryland every now and then or whatever to check on their place. But um, Stace at Harper has been asking for me and asking about me and stuff like that. So um, she was like, oh, well, we're going to do a drive-by tomorrow. Um, if you're home, let us know. So she hit me up and told me she was on her way and Harp was asleep so I went up to the car and like tickled Harp she woke up she was happy to see me so she wanted to come in so she came in she chilled with me for probably a couple hours because Stacy was doing something in her car like listening to a sermon or something like that I don't know what she was doing um but I chilled with Harp for a while so that was good to see her because I haven't seen her in so long and I was gonna vlog but I just didn't but I did take a picture of her she's so much taller now she looks like like she's so much taller like <laughs> than I remember her because I haven't seen her in like like physically I haven't seen her in like months um so yeah um that was cool this morning and that was while Ronnie was getting his haircut and then when he, he came back we went to the store so it's probably around like 2 30 that we left to go to the store um and run our errands so yeah um my niece's uh easel accessory kit from Melissa and Doug was delivered today. So I got that and then her easel will come. It's supposed to come on Monday. Um, so we'll see. The two rugs that I ordered are still like held up in the FedEx system. They were supposed to come on Thursday. They didn't. They did not come on Friday. They did not come today. And now the delivery day just says pending. Um, they both say they are in Maryland, but they're not local in local Maryland like they're like Hagerstown or something like that and typically it takes an extra day um but then another one wasn't updated since Friday so I don't know when they're coming but when they do come I will let you guys know um I also ordered a forehead touch thermometer from Walmart because I was on Instagram and one of the couponing channels posted that they were available for $12.88. So we would have been on the hunt for a, I think you 
called a temporal thermometer for a long time, but everybody sold out, of course. So I went ahead and jumped on that, but I ended up paying $20 because it wasn't free shipping because I didn't have $35 or more. So I just went ahead and grabbed it, um, and I figured we can use it for baby girl when she gets here as well. And I was kind of intrigued because those are only, um, you know, $12.88. Someone commented and said they're usually only $9 in the store, but anyway, $12.88. And all the ones that like Bye Bye Baby that are temporal, like forehead or ear, are like 56 bucks. And I guess that's because they're targeted or manufactured specifically geared to babies. So they just hike up the price. But I was very shocked at that. So um, hopefully it'll come. I think it said it was it shipped. So it should be here sometime next week. Um, both of my nightgowns that I ordered for delivery shipped from Target. Um, their two-day shipping has been on point throughout this process. So um, hopefully I'll get those this week as well. And then I'm supposed to start getting in the items for my maternity pictures that I ordered from uh, all the stuff that I ordered from Amazon, like the dresses and the accessories and everything. I'm supposed to start getting those in as early as tomorrow, but I don't know if they've shipped. So I'll let you guys know and see those things as they come in. Um, what else did I order? Um, I, today while I was in Dollar Tree getting the cards, as I was uh, walking up to the checkout, I saw those little handheld battery fans. So I did grab one of those because I saw it in someone's um, hospital bag video, what I pack in my hospital bag video on YouTube that they put one of those in there just in case they get hot or something like that. So I did purchase one of those from Dollar Tree that I'll just throw in my bag with some batteries. I didn't buy batteries, I should have, but I had plenty of time to get some of those. And then I told you guys that they did ship both my nightgowns. So I got a black one and a pink one. So I'm happy about that. Um, the only other things that I need to order are probably some nursing bras, um, which I probably won't need in the hospital because the nightgowns I can just pull the thick, you know, you know, pop it out, whatever. Um, but I do need some nursing bras and probably some nursing tanks and then some looser underwear, some larger underwear, which I need to invest in anyway because honey, most of my underclothes are really, really tight um, at this point. And so next week I'll be in my seventh month. So, I mean, I guess that comes with the territory, but yeah, super tight and uncomfortable. Um, TMI, but oh well, that's life. So I need to um, pick up some more undergarments in a larger size. And then um, some of the other stuff I need is like small stuff, like nipple cream and, you know, stuff like that. But those things can be um, grabbed later on and then the travel size um, toiletries. I need to re-up on those because I did a lot of traveling over this past summer. So a lot of my products have been, you know, used down or it's time to just replace them. So I'll do that. Um, but the majority of the stuff that I need, I think I have, I do need to get some postpartum items like the um, Depends underwear, stuff like that that everybody says get. So that'll be a quick target run closer to the time of delivery and then um that'll be it i do need to do the uh, closet in baby girl's room we are going to do that but i'm not going to put a rush on it um and then i need to probably do like a final load or two of laundry for her because i showed you guys those three outfits that i did actually just purchase um last weekend which haven't been washed and then the stuff that came from my <coughs> my niece's dad's house i washed the first load but i haven't washed the second load of like three month stuff so and i have all of her newborn and zero to three month and regular three month um at least onesies and sleepers already washed and stuff um i did wash a lot of the clothes too but i have more clothes to wash so yeah i am almost at Brittany's parents house to grab the cards and the pancake mix which is it's totally random but that's what friends are for when they know you're looking for something and they see it they grab it for you <laughs> so i'm about to grab this stuff and then head to my parents house so i'm gonna mellow out and listen to the radio because that's something that i have not done in a long time and i just feel like i need peace today um ronnie and i were at each other's throats earlier and i just 
need to kind of like relax. Um, so I'm about to listen to some music, some tunes, and call it a night. So, talk to you guys later. Bye. Alright, y'all. Just went to the door, and Brittany's sister gave me the stuff. Brittany ain't in there. Um, but she got me these two cards. Sister and sister in law. And then she got my pancake mix. Yes! Makes about 40 complete. And I use milk. But yeah. So now I'm headed to my parents' house. And I'm about to listen to my tunes and kind of mellow out. Chill out. So, talk to you guys later. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday, May 10th. Happy Mother's Day. I'm just waking up. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning. This is my first Mother's Day, and I'm kind of excited. It's kind of weird because I've never celebrated Mother's Day before, so it's kind of weird, but I'm excited about it. So, yeah. It's Mother's Day. It's my first Mother's Day. Oh, look who it is! <laughs> no, it's just oh, a vlog, guys. I got a um. <gasps> oh my god! Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, I got my push gift early. Oh my goodness! He got me the MacBook Air. <gasps> I'm so excited! I've been wanting this for years so that I can do better on my YouTube editing and everything. Oh my god! Oh my god! Y'all, yeah. I didn't think he was hearing me when I was talking about my push gift because he kept on ignoring me talking about some I ain't getting one. Oh my god! I'm gonna cry. Oh, excuse my appearance. I literally just woke up. And I got the rose gold one. Oh my god! Oh, I'm excited. I can't believe this. Oh my goodness! Especially because we did not have a great day yesterday. Oh my god! I got it. I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh my god, let me open my card. This is my card. It says, Happy First Mother's Day. Oh, I'm gonna keep this card forever. It said, Every new mom is special. So happy for you and our. <laughs> he crossed out the Y for your. Your soon-to-be bundle of joy. It says, he crossed out new little delivery. Love you, baby daddy. Oh, <laughs> Ronnie. Okay, guys, so I am ready. I put on a, uh, did my ponytail and put some edge control on. I didn't tie it down, but it'll be okay. Um, I have on a new maternity shirt. I have this shirt in another color as well, or in another floral print as well I got it from Ross it's um so silky and smooth and then I just have on these distressed jeans that I rolled up can y'all see them hold on and then I have on my rose gold toms because I love these shoes now that I'm pregnant um I didn't wear a necklace or anything this is the um handheld fan I was telling y'all about that I'm gonna put in my hospital bag uh, also today um Gap has 40% off plus an additional 20% off so I did order three maternity tank tops just regular maternity and then I ordered two nursing tanks because they only came out to $12 and Amazon and Target were both m way more expensive than that for nursing tanks um and they're just the crisscross crying in the front that you could just pop your boob out so I got a black one and a gray one of those and then three regular um maternity tanks just for the summertime I could wear them with shorts or leggings or something. Those were like $8.13 each. So I did place that order. We have all the stuff ready for Brunch to take to his mom's house. And then I have my mom's gift right here. I need to get some tissue paper from downstairs. I have all these cards that I need to fill out while I'm in the car. So let me grab a pen. 
y'all i'm out of breath showering getting dressed and brushing your hair it's no joke i guess i got some pants in here i don't know where these pants are but i use them um so yeah ronnie took the dogs out but it's 9 20 so we need to leave so we could be at his mom's house around 10 o'clock because that's the earliest that those georgetown cupcakes will be delivered i told you guys i got his mom a dozen and i got my mom a dozen so i'm about to put on this leather jacket and go see where he is because it's time to go i don't even think he's dressed yet though so let me go find him actually Still Mother's Day, it's 9-19. We just got home and look what came. All three of the maternity photo shoot dresses that I ordered. And my parents got me some flowers. I need to clean my kitchen. They got me some really pretty, um, these look like tulips um, for Mother's Day. And I'm about to get into these dresses as soon as I use the restroom. And then baby girl got a lot of stuff too. Plus my sister gave me another box of clothes and a bag of clothes. And then Ronnie's family, his sister stationed in Germany, got us a lot of stuff too. Like a lot of stuff, a whole box. So yes. Hey guys, happy Monday, happy May 11th. I haven't vlogged today because I've just been working and trying to set up my new um, laptop. Um, but I am headed to check the PO box because um, a couple of you reached out to me um, on Instagram and let me know that you sent stuff and it should ha have already arrived. So I'm gonna check that. I have my gloves and my mask. And then I have to find a UPS store um, to drop off one of these maternity dresses that came, the one that I really wanted, the magenta color one that I paid $65 for, was horrible. It was not magenta, it was bubblegum pink. The material was very cheap. It was huge on me. And I ordered the same size in all three dresses. The other two that were like $20, $25, perfect. I love them. This one, horrible. So of course, Ronnie's already ordered his shirts to coordinate with what I ordered. So I need to find a replacement dress. I haven't done so yet. I found one on Etsy. And I reached out to see what um, size I should get from the uh, the shop owner, but she hasn't responded to my message yet, so we'll see. I don't know, um, but I'm really, really like perturbed about that. I'll insert some pictures if I remember of me trying on the dresses last night, or maybe I won't because my room wasn't clean. Mm -hmm, sorry, um, but they just the other two looked fine, perfect. I'm gonna keep those, but this one was just like horrible. So I'm definitely sending it back because I paid $65 for it. So I have to find a UPS store. And then I'm having dinner with my parents because they have a lot of leftovers from Mother's Day. And I didn't take any leftovers home. So I'm going to just go ahead and um, eat dinner over there. Ronnie was still like sleeping. He was just like kind of groggy and just waking up. So um, I just went ahead and left him home. And I told him where I was going to um, eat with my parents. He already knew about my errands. So, I mean, if he hits me up and asks me to bring him a plate, I will. But other than that, I feel like he'll be he'll be fine. He'll find something to eat in the house. I'm not cooking today. Um, I probably will cook tomorrow. I had another HelloFresh box. I did cancel my membership because it's getting rather expensive. Um, but before I canceled, I would still do one more box or something like that. That they shipped out, but then it was like delayed. So now they're going to try to ship me another box this week because I never got the other box. And they're saying that basically the food is no good in it anymore so they said that you know basically they'll send me a new one this week so we'll see um so yeah that's what's going on right now it's 4 36 so i'm trying to get to this post office right here and get my packages before five and then i think i'll probably go eat with my parents i told them i would be there at five and then look for the ups store or maybe just do the ups store in the morning um because there's not one really around here like it's like 15 minutes 20 minutes away so yeah I want to you know make good on my word to meet them for dinner I was able to get another three pack of Lysol wipes the jumbo size on walmart.com one of my 
girlfriend sent me the link and was like, hurry up. So I got another three pack. I think I'm gonna give that one to my parents because you guys know I got a three pack delivered last week too. She was the one who put me on. I gave my parents one canister out of my three pack. So I think I'm going to take one canister out of the new three pack that comes and then give them the other two so that we both end up with three, you know, canisters. Oh my God, look at this post office. This is great, great, crazy. Ridiculous. There's nowhere to park, y'all. Nowhere to park. This is crazy. Crazy. It's like a line to get in here. I can't back up. There's a car behind me. Um. So yeah, he got mad at me because I couldn't move. Oh well. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on today. I actually did end up with a spot. So let me put on my gloves, go check this PO box. I hope I'm not in line for too long. Ugh, I really don't wanna be. Um, but yeah, so let me go do this and I will talk to you guys later. Hey okay, y'all, so back from the, uh-oh, I broke another one. These masks are so cheap. Anywho, but I'm going to my parents' house now. I'll just go to the UPS store tomorrow because it is what it is. It's already five o'clock. But I got two of the packages. They're both from Amazon. Um, or it looks like they're from Amazon. They did lose one of my packages, so they said they will call me within the next couple of days. But it looked like it came from I don't know. And it says it's gonna return the sender on five to eight. But I wonder if this is one of the ones that they deliver to my house I don't know what's going on with the post office so it has a UPS tracking number but she said in her system she can't find anything so she's gonna have a supervisor call me but I doubt that the supervisor will call me so I hope um, that it gets straightened out because that's you know one of you guys gifts I don't I haven't given a PO box out to anyone else so yeah um, we shall see and if she can't say anything in her system, I'm pretty sure if I go to the U.S. Postal Service website and put in the tracking number, it's going to show me less information than it shows her. So, I don't know. But it says it was going to return to center on 5-8. So, I'm wondering if this is like, I don't know, part of the same, I don't know. Yeah. Don't give me the line. Anywho. Um, hungry all i ate today was a bowl of cereal a half a bag of chips yes they're large size and a hot pocket um because i was kind of busy so yeah i am going to grub 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 and then what else take these packages home take my butt back in the house that's what's about to happen so i just wanted to let you guys know that i did get the packages Hey guys, so I'm just getting back from my parents' house. It is 9.06. <laughs> and um, I brought Ronnie a plate home. This is the card that I bought myself from my parents. Because my father sent me to the store to get all his Mother's Day cards. Including buying one for myself. That man crazy. Anywho. Um, and these are the flowers from my parents. But I got some packages. I got two Amazon packages and one from J. Crew. I told you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. I had ordered some J. Crew stuff. It took a while to come in. But you know they filed for bankruptcy and stuff. So I don't know. But let me show you, some of these are my accessories for my maternity shoes. Some of this stuff goes with Mia's, um, my niece's uh, birthday present for this weekend. And then the clothes um, stuff are mine. This looks like it's smashed. Why would they ship this in that? Whatever. This is my flower crown. I don't understand why they would ship it in that instead of a box. That really annoys me. But this is my flower crown. I think it's like 16 bucks. 
And then these are my nipple pasties that came. So I got the um, cafe colors. So it should be like three to five colors in here. Three to four. I think it's like three other here, yeah, browns. And so hopefully it'll, I don't know. Or are they all the same color? I don't know. It's like a cafe brown color. You see that? That should match my skin tone. Good enough to go over the lace um, dress for the milk bath. And then this stuff is a mixture of Mimi's Christmas, I mean, uh, birthday stuff. This is a long sleeve um, um, paint smock for her to wear or apron. And then, y'all, look at how they ship these crayons. If any of my baby's crayons are broken, this is ridiculous. Ridiculous. As much money as I paid overpriced for these dang on crayons. Ridiculous. Anywho. Amazon, shame on you. I really only wanted to get her eight, but um, they didn't have eight as an option. So I had to get the 16 for her, but still. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm missing one. Oh, the white one is still down in here. Hold on, y'all. Let me close it up. This is ridiculous, Amazon. They know they tripping. I don't know what that's about. Anyway, and then I got her the um, easel set this downstairs, and her easel is supposed to come today, but I guess it's delayed, so maybe it'll be here tomorrow. I don't know. I got myself a body change, and I'm gonna try to do like a topless um, look for one of the looks for my um, maternity shoot. And I also got a head piece for one of the looks. For the um, green dress that I'm gonna wear. I also ordered a replacement dress off Etsy. It's like $91 plus shipping. I mean, plus tax. Shipping was free. Hold on, y'all. Shipping was free, though. Uh, but I ordered it today. She said it should be in. And I ordered it in the fuchsia color because that's the color that I was looking for instead of her magenta just didn't look right so this is why they should have shipped my flower crown in a box instead of this looks really nice it's really nice quality but it just like hangs down in the front of your head and it has these little things it's so pretty it's rose gold and this was 16 dollars, i believe that's really pretty um so this is all of my stuff for my photo shoot and then let's look at what I got from J. Crew. I got a suit, a, a tweed suit. This looks like the skirt. And I got it in a size 14 because I don't know what size I'll be once I deliver. But you see the original price of this? I got the skirt for like 20 bucks. I think the jacket was like maybe 40. So it was like a whole suit for like 60 bucks. Um, which I really liked. And I don't have any clothing from Jason, but this looked really, really nice. And for this price, I figured I could wear this like on a special occasion or something. I don't know. I don't have anything in my closet like it. I don't know, to each his own. I don't I don't know if this is everybody's style or not, but I actually really like it in there. Quality is like really, really nice. So I went ahead and got this in a size 14. I got this sleeveless army green dress that has like a belt on it as well it's sleeveless it looks really nice i got this in a size 14 as well that's the belt right there so i got that and then i got two pairs of sandals i got these um which are gold with the orange these i paid like they say 50 i think i paid like 12 or 13 dollars for them and then i also got this snakeskin print one so yeah, I'll take this stuff upstairs um, and put it away. And yeah, I told you guys I was going to do like a maternity friendly shoe haul for you guys. So I was waiting on those to come in before I could film it. But yeah, this suit is really pretty. I'm really excited about that. So yeah, this is for Mimi. 
for her birthday this weekend and i'll get the other thing the um what do you call it the easel accessory kit i'll bring that down later and i'm gonna keep all this stuff together i do have one more thing coming and it is my necklace my statement necklace that i ordered y'all know i love statement necklaces from amazon i'm hoping i can take this out and it'll look okay but we'll see i'm gonna throw this in the trash and that's all that came today actually i got an uh, alert that my target order was delivered but i don't see it so let me check my mail and my email again and see because i told you guys i ordered some nightgowns for for my hospital bag and i got an alert that one of them was delivered but ronnie said i only got three packages today and it was those three so let me double check over here where all y'all stuff is but I don't see it. Let me see. Hold on. You be confused sometimes. That's from y'all. Huh? Okay, guys. I did have one more package. Actually, they put it in my mailbox. So I had to go get it. Um, but the this is the first. Um, I'm gonna open this. This is the first. A nightgown that I ordered. I ordered the same exact one in black, but it's shipped separately, so maybe it'll be here tomorrow. But I got an extra large. Um, it feels really silky smooth too. Um, but I got an extra large because I'm pretty sure I'll be bigger by the time I deliver. But they were on sale for fifteen dollars from Target this past weekend, and they're from the brand uh, Stars Above. So I got an extra large, originally twenty. Two dollars. I got it for fifteen. I didn't realize they had cups in them, and I don't think the cups come out, which I would have preferred them to come out. But oh, actually, they do. You can see that you can take the cups out, so I may take them out. But for right now, they look really good. Easy for nursing. These are not nursing nightgowns, but they'll do the trick. Um, and I didn't want to get something with pants because I'm not sure how I'll feel and they'll be checking me and then if I have to have an emergency c-section who knows so I just wanted to get nightgown so I got this one I actually thought it was more pink but it's it's more of a I don't know a blush color but it'll be fine I'll wear it with one of my robes and then I got a black one the exact same one in black coming as well so this is the extra large size I probably can actually fit it now but um yeah I got this as well so I'll be taking these with me um, and yeah let me throw this in the trash I don't think anything else came with it so that's all my packages for today I'm missing a lot of stuff but I guess it'll be trickling in I still don't have my rugs for my living room or my baby's room I don't know where they are but I'm gonna trust that they will be here soon they've been hung up in Bowie Maryland and Hagerstown Maryland for like three or four days now from FedEx. So I don't know what the problem is, but I'm gonna still be patient. I'm not gonna call the retailers yet um, because I do know that they made it to Maryland. So from California and wherever else they came from. I also cannot wait to get my Fandelier. I gotta put away all these dishes, Ronnie washed them. But anyway, I, I can't wait to get my Fandelier from, um, wait, from Overstock. It was shipped out today and the estimated delivery date is next Monday coming. Uh, which is the 19th but i hope it'll get here earlier um and they did ship a ups so ups has been on point so like i said i don't know what's been going on with fedex but ups has been on point so um i'm hoping that um it'll get here on time um or it'll get here earlier than what they say let me keep this receipt i paid 136 for the stuff at um Actually, I paid $14.50 for each one of the sandals from J. Crew. I paid $46 for the jacket, $26.50 for, $26 for the dress, and then um, $26.50 for that tweed skirt that goes with the suit. So let me take this stuff upstairs. I'm really happy about these nightgowns. And um, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. I told you guys I ordered some nursing tanks. So now I have my robes the matching swaddles for her um i have two nightgowns so i'm good on that i have um two nursing tanks um as well um black and gray 
Um, I have some maternity regular tank tops, black, white, and gray that are coming from Gap as well. So the only thing I would need are like some nursing bras and I'm not 100% sure that I'm just gonna go with nursing bras. I may just do like sports bras or something, a bra that's, you know, um, wireless and I can just, it crisscrosses in the front and I can just pop the, the boob out when I need to. I may go with that. And then there are a couple more things that I need to get like postpartum wise and stuff like that. But for the most part, I am slowly building up my arsenal for my hospital bag because I don't wanna incur that cost all at the same time. So that's what I'm doing and I do that all the time y'all know i split up birthday gifts and everything so that you know i'm not caught off guard and i don't have to buy everything all at once but anywho i will talk to you later and toodles okay y'all so i got the head piece on for the green dress i actually really like it i think it's going to look really pretty once my hair is curled and like my face is done and stuff but it's really pretty this is how it looks but i got it from amazon i think it's like 13 no 16 bucks or something I don't know. It's rose gold. They didn't have regular gold, but they had it in silver as well. I tried to put this on my head, but it looks so flat to me. So I don't know what I'm going to do. But maybe once I put my dress on and stuff, it'll be okay. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Let me put this back in the plastic. And that's all she wrote, y'all. I'm going to have to go to bed. It's 9.30.